Hi, my name is Andrew Stoltman. I'm a Chicago-based investment fraud lawyer. Many clients have asked us over the years, can I sue Merrill Lynch for investment losses? And the answer to that question is yes. Like most brokerage firms, Merrill Lynch puts what's called a binding arbitration clause in their new account agreement with customers. What this means from a practical basis is that if a customer wants to sue Merrill Lynch, they have to do it through binding arbitration and they have to do it through an entity called FINRA. Some of the most common claims filed each and every year against Merrill Lynch include the following. Most common each and every year is a suitability claim. What this argues is that the investment recommended to the client was unsuitable for that client given the client's age, financial resources, and actual investment objectives. The second most common claim filed against Merrill Lynch in any given year is what's called a churning claim. In a churning claim, the primary argument is that the investment uh, was bought and sold for the client really based primarily on the broker's best interest, which usually means the generation of commissions and fees rather than in the best interest of the client. The third most common claim year in and year out against Merrill Lynch has to do with what are called misrepresentations and omissions. In these sorts of claims, what we argue for our clients is that the investment's true risks were not disclosed to the client or other risks may have been omitted in the purchase and sale of securities. And the final most common claim is what's called an unauthorized trading claim. Before each and every transaction, usually a broker must get his client's approval before they do the trade. Now, in any given year, there are additional claims uh, against Merrill Lynch made, such as theft claims, negligence claims, breach of fiduciary duty, and other related issues. Most customers want to know, how long is it going to take for my FINRA arbitration claim to take in terms of snaking its way through the system? And the answer to that is usually in the 12 to 14 month range. If you're over the age of 65, usually the claims take a little bit less. Sometimes they can take a little bit more. So as a former Merrill Lynch stockbroker before I went to law school, I think I have a pretty good insight as to the incentives that Merrill Lynch brokers have before recommending certain investments and for doing some of the things they do. We encourage you to call us in Chicago. Call our securities law firm at 312-332-4200, 312-332-4200, or visit our website at investmentfraud.pro. Thank you.